Okay. Hello, I'll be doing a project called, I have, as you can see, I've named it the pen project. So first of all, let's get some sprites in. I'm going to make my own. I have already made some there in my backpack. I'm just going to bring them in. Bring them in. Hold on. There. Um, there. And I need to do two more. So these will be um like the ones outlined in black, the ones hold on the ones outlined in black um I mean those two they will act as buttons. And then this one will be a heading. Okay, so let's organize them quickly. So that one will be at the top. Then we'll have the one that um, I called any. As you can see on there, this is any. You'll understand what it means just now. And then... Okay. So now that we've got the buttons sorted, let's start with the code. So... Okay. Let's start with the uh, one that I called random. Let's do the code. When the flag is clicked, uh, we want the sprite to show, show itself. And then, when the sprite is clicked itself, we want it to hide. Control, no, looks. We want it to hide. And broadcast random. There are lots of different ways in which you can get a message across, but this is the way that in which I am using. There. I'm just going to leave that there. Now let's go to the one in which I called any. Uh, when I receive random. Go there. We wanted to hide. When the flag is clicked, we wanted to show. And then when the sprite is clicked, we wanted to hide and broadcast any. So we make a new message. New message called Okay. Okay, now let's go back to the one we called random. Then when I receive any, we want it to hide. Now let's go to the heading, which is called pen picture. Uh, when the flag is clicked, when I was, we want it to show. Then when I receive any, so when the sprite receives any, we want it to hide. Then when it receives random, we also want it to hide. Okay, now um, on the backdrop, 
Um, when I receive random. When I receive random. Ask. We want to. Sensing. Ask. What speed do you want your ball to go? And then in brackets, question mark, in brackets, we wanted to say PS, which is like, um, by the way, the, the lower than, the lower, the faster. And then close brackets. Okay, let's test that out now. Okay. So, any. Okay, that's good. Random. Okay, that's good. Then we want... Now we want to make a variable. Um, not a list, a variable. We call it... We want to call it speed of ball. Okay, then we want it to set speed of ball. To answer. So basically, whatever answer you put in for this question, uh, the speed of ball will set to that answer. Okay, then we wanted to broadcast another message saying speed. New message. Hold on. Okay, also we don't want the variable to show, like over here, we want it to hide, so you just click that tick. Okay, now let's, let's bring in, bring in one more variable, I mean, um, not variable, sprite. Um, let's, I want a ball. You can make it anything you want, but this is what I'm going with. Um, let's see. No. Okay, let's choose this one. Um, I'm gonna change the costume to the green one. You can change it to whatever color you want. You can do whichever one you want. Um, we want it to hide, so when you want a sprite to hide, you would click this button down here. Okay, um, for now let's show let's just okay um so when the flag is clicked set speed of ball 
to zero. And we want, oh, we also want, since this is going to be a pen um, project, we want to bring in the pen, um, what, code, the pen code. Then we also want it to erase all. When I receive speed events, when I receive speed, speed, um, we want it to forever, forever, pen up, um, pen up, go to, that would be in motion, random position, pen down, Set pen color to now. Here we wanted to the computer to pick a random, so set change. No, not by um, set pen color to pick random one to let's say a thousand. Okay. Then, then we wanted to glide motion, uh, glide. Um, so where it says one second, so we, as you can see, it's already doing that. So we wanted to glide um, the speed of ball. So that's where the variable comes in. Okay, stop it. <laughs> Um, there, to the middle. Stop. So you can change the, to where it's going to go to, to any, any number, um, any X or Y position in the, on the screen. Then we wanted to, if the key space is clicked, Pressed, I mean. So here we want to bring in an if statement. Sensing. Key space pressed. Then we want it to stop this script. Control. How about, um, we w actually no. Um, we want it to broadcast start. Actually, cancel. Let's make it so it stops. Uh, stop. Not. We want to change it. We want to change it from all to this script. Um, and then uh, before that, we wanted to erase all. So let's see. Let's test it out. Let's. Uh, uh, you need you need to change this from random. Hold on. Oh, sorry. Press the wrong button. Random. Um. Let's do a. Uh, so if you do zero, it'll go. S I want to show you something quickly. So if you pick a number like one hundred. The ball will go very slowly, as you can see over here. As but when you click do a number like zero, the ball will go very fast. I'm gonna do a very small number, which is zero point a whole bunch of zeros, which is very, very small. Wait, no, you need to do so you would put zero point a whole bunch of zeros, then you would put a one. And that's a very fast number. Okay, let's. Okay, let's carry on. Ball. When I receive random, no, yeah. 
when I receive random, we wanted to erase all the pin on the screen. Okay. Then this is where we get to the other button, which is any. This one over here. This is where we start doing that code. Then we want so we want to do when I receive any pin up pin up go to motion go to we want it um let's show we don't want so we want this ball to go all the way down in the corner there so we want it to go to um, anywhere in round about that corner, the bottom left hand corner. Okay. Then, then we want it to go pin down. Pin down. Forever. So it will carry on doing this forever. Forever, we want for for five if statements, six actually. So then duplicate, duplicate, then duplicate six or six of them. So we want six if statements. So then we want also four keys, key button six. Duplicate. One more. Then we put them into the if statement. Okay. So for the first at the at the top for the first one, um, if key up arrow press then we wanted to change the y so we wanted to change the y which is um the one the y axis which is the axis going up and down change y Change Y by 4. You can make this number any number you want. Then if key down arrow pressed, down arrow, we want it to change by minus 4. Minus 4. Okay. There. Then if the key left arrow is pressed, hold on. If key left arrow is pressed, let's change it to left arrow. We it'll change it'll go the left way. We want it to change X by minus 4. And if Q right arrow is pressed, we want it to change by 4. Okay. Then we get to the two if statements at the bottom. If the... Hold on. Okay, if key spray space pressed, then pin up. Up. And we also want it to show. So, show, where's show? Okay. Um, let's change that to... 
Um, let, okay. Then, for the one at the bottom, um, we wanted to go pin down. And, look, and it, we wanted to hide. Okay. So, let's change that to, um, B, the F key B. And then the one at the top, I'm going to change that to V. Okay, let's try that. Okay, so random. Hold on. Okay. So we know that random works. Now we need to see if any works. There. Okay, so, so far it's working. So as you can see, it's making... It's, um... Making a drawing according to the key. So if I press V there, now I can move it around. So let me, so let's, my name is, actually, let's do um, Ben. Let's do the name Ben. Hold up. So also at the start, we wanted to hide. Event, when the flag is clicked, hide for the ball. Okay. So, any. There. V. Okay. Hold. Okay, so any, so I'm gonna do the name Ben, there. Um, let's make that smaller. It's not the Best one. So, there. Then you can pick it up. And then go to where you want to go. See, now I've typed out the letter, well, I've drawn the letter Ben. Okay. <clears throat> now you see the color. It's a very. It's a color that you can't really see. So. Um, hold on. Okay. So. Okay, <clears throat> let's do, so when, hold, okay, when I, we want to do, when I receive any, ask, ask, we want to ask a question. So, this is for the pen color, okay, so, Do you want the color to be a specific color? 
color. In brackets, we want to put a capital S, comma, um, a random color or oh, then in brackets there um, an R or a um, Mr. Bradley it's been 30 minutes I think Okay. Or a, or a constantly, constantly or constantly Or constantly changing color. We'll do that as C. Question mark. Okay. Then um, then we want three if statements. Um, if We want, then we also want three equals two. And also three answers. Okay, we put the answers into the equal statement. The if answer equals S. if answer equals r and if answer equals c equals c um okay um so i'm gonna stop there uh we'll do another tutorial soon um, so I'm just going to say, tutorial one, because this is the first tutorial that I'm doing this in, so I'm going to, okay, so there, okay, so, Bye, please make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.